Yeah, looking at U.S. jobless claims rose to 207,000, it looks like, Andrew, as this thing scrolls across my screen. Um, Four-week average rising to 204. Um, That's a little bit more than the expectation of 195 and up from, I don't know if they revised last week. Yeah, they revised last week up to 200, so a modest increase there. Um, And then I'm looking for the trade deficit. I I think it's not a big deal because we get the advance on that. It's supposed to be in around 81.5 billion, a big surge um, that uh, came from a, 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 a got tighter in, in October, and then it widened again, we think, in, in, in November. Uh, the expectation is that as bottlenecks uh, ease off, um, we might get better results on trade next, next year as, or th- sorry, that's this year, as some of the bottlenecks, we get the exports going out of the country. Just real quick, I was reading a, uh, a forecast for tomorrow from Pantheon, um, <clears throat> our friend Ian Shepherdson over there. He, he says some of the high-frequency data suggests it could be as high as a million tomorrow because of the uh, uh, rebound from November that we were talking about last time with a major question mark as to whether or not Omicron ends up uh, affecting the data somewhat, Andrew. Hey, Steve, so that's the, that's the Steve Leisman analysis. What is the, um, the Jay Powell analysis, if you were to, to try to read, read his mind right now? <clears throat> Of which part, the jobs or the um, uh, uh, the jobs or, 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 the, jobs. or the jobless claims numbers? Which which part are you interested? In? The, I was going to go with the jobless claims I, numbers, I, I but, think but, that, the, but you intrigued me uh, by 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 what Pantheon's saying. So you know you can do both. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think that Powell counts among his blessings that he's got these problems with inflation and the need to take away stimulus, but he has a pretty good economy. Uh, you know, unemployment's down near four percent. I, I don't think there's a question that that it's going to go. It's going back up now. You have this—I uh, don't know what you want to call it—blip. Hopefully, when it comes to Omicron, some people are going to be quarantining, staying home. You might have a blip in January, but you should get a rebound in February. Um, I, I think, and he's the concern here is that you don't necessarily see it yet, but that this year you start to get wage inflation come into the inflation numbers. You haven't seen it yet necessarily. But if wages keep going up the way they've been going up, you could start to get an issue of wage inflation. So that's got to be a concern, as well as a, uh, a benefit that he has, that the, the job market's in pretty good shape for the Fed to uh, remove stimulus. OK, Steve, so stick around. We want to get over to Mike. want to get your take on these numbers and what you think the equity market and uh, the traders are going to think about all of this. Yeah, modest tick up in claims relative to forecasts. And from last week, we get it back, back above 200,000. I think it it still tells you that the job market is behaving relatively tight. We get a huge payroll number tomorrow that's going to underscore that. The Jolt stated this week, uh, a lot of people leaving their jobs all feed in that direction. The, the big question is, to what degree we do have a little bit of a stutter step in growth because of Omicron this month, next month. I think investors in general expect something like that, but they're really intent on looking right through it. If you look at the way the markets are repricing here, it's mostly about, wow, this thing's spring-loaded to take off once we get through uh, perhaps a brief uh, wave. So that's that's where also the surprise could be if we do see a more pronounced uh, slowdown. So, so far, not a big change to, uh, to me, the, the basic premise of where investors are coming from right here. My, this morning, I was just going to quickly say, it's mostly about positioning. It's mostly about, did I own too much Microsoft and Salesforce coming into this year? And I'm already underwater four days in.